Cosmos is simultaneously one of the best and one of the worst upcoming top ones in Geometry Dash. Let's examine every factor that makes Cosmos great, as well as its less savory qualities, in order to decide how good the level is overall. Let's begin. A point in the level's favor is its intimidating atmosphere. Similarly to Slaughterhouse, Cosmos' gameplay gets super intense at the drop with fast and difficult gameplay. As much as I dislike the layout in other ways, they did pick a perfect song to build it to, resulting in it being quite an atmospheric level. But while atmosphere is a plus, it alone is not a strong enough case for a demon being good. It certainly doesn't make up for the horrendous gameplay. Focusing on the drop for now, most of the layout is made up of either straight fly with nothing but the occasional orb or slope for variation, or very similar and copy-paste heavy wave segments. It's some of the most unoriginal gameplay there is, but I'll elaborate on that later. Putting aside the gameplay for now, let's talk about theming. Cosmos is recognizable for its use of space theme, a level style that's starting to be used a little more in Extreme Demons, and for good reason. The potential of space theme is higher than almost any other level style, as there are plenty of space-related objects you can build in GD, which look great. When you have a team of creators that know how to decorate, which Cherry Team certainly is, this is an excellent choice. The theme of the deco may be great, but in terms of the gameplay version of theming, not so much. Why? Well, the short answer is that it's a Slaughterhouse remake. The original SLH itself wasn't all that imaginative, being full to the brim with extreme demon tropes such as shit ton of straight fly, shit ton of fast and hard wave gameplay, a boring pre-job, and generally having some of the worst gameplay known to man. Cosmos has been called the best Slaughterhouse remake, but that's not saying much. Most of the demon has very similar gameplay to SLH, and occasionally copies gimmicks directly. If you want to see more interesting commentary on various things GD, consider subscribing as I upload similar videos to the one you're watching every week. Also head over to my Discord server where we can discuss Cosmos and a wide range of other topics. Now back to the video. The whole concept of this level makes no sense. What were Cherry Team smoking when they decided to use the best theming and decoration they've ever made on a Slaughterhouse Remake Top 1? I don't understand why they would think this is a good idea. They could have had the exact same song, exact same theme, exact same atmosphere, and exact same quality of decoration without making it an SLH remix. Literally anything else would have been fine. So why did they waste some of the best deco in GD on this dumpster fire of a level? I'm not kidding when I say some of the best deco there is. All parts consistently execute the space theme well, with perfect artwork of comets, bunnies, satellites, and celestial objects. Like I said, the decoration is stunning, just not the GP. The problems I have with Cosmos stem from the fact that it's a typical top 1 with lazy gameplay that's made to be hard and nothing else. And I'm not saying that Vernum should just nerf the level. That would only turn it from a bad top 1 layout to a bad top 50 layout. If you want to make a good top 1, you should try to make the gameplay at least somewhat passable. Or better yet, do something unique with it. An example of this is Limbo. You should probably check out this video here to understand what qualities make for a good top 1 in my opinion. To me, Cosmos doesn't have enough of them to compensate for its awful gameplay. But if you disagree, let me know why in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.